Are you looking to establish a personal brand? In this video, I'm gonna let you in on my insider secrets on how I organize my workflow to curate a personal brand. Okay, so today I'm gonna be talking about how to manage a personal brand. Similar to brand awareness, the first step that you're gonna have to do is identify your audience. In my case, I manage the personal brand for Kyle Mylan on YouTube and we put his content on LinkedIn as well. So his audience is technical sales professionals, and anyone who works in sales and marketing in the industrial and manufacturing space. If the content that you're creating is representing someone else's personal brand, you need to make sure that you understand that person or that brand's vision and the online presence that they want to have. So step number two, whether it's your brand that you're building or someone else's, you need to make sure that the amount of content you're putting out aligns with the presence that's being desired. In order to do that, it might be very helpful to create a content calendar. On this calendar, you might wanna outline the amount of posts that you want to do per day or per week, and also the length or style of the videos or content that you wanna put out. Basically, put any information on there that's gonna help you stay organized so that you don't fall behind and you're consistently able to put out the amount of content that you want. For example, on Kyle's content calendar, I have it lined up that we are posting short videos every single day, doubling and tripling down on the days of the week that our views are typically higher, as well as posting long form videos about three times a week. I also have a section of time blocked out on his and mine calendar to do what we call batch content, which is basically a block of time that I take out of mine and his calendar so that we can sit down and film all the content that we need to meet our goals for the week. Something that I have found is really helpful in creating content with someone else is creating a Google Sheet or basically any document that's shareable. That way both of us can put ideas that we have and we can keep track of which ones we liked, didn't like, and which topics we're gonna cover moving forward. So then at the end of every week, after we finish our batch content shooting day, I have all of the footage set aside to sort through. And that brings me to the next step, which is to actually create the content. Typically, whenever we're finished with our batch content shooting day, my goal is to have three longer form videos and as many shorts as possible that I can get out of this shoot. I typically have my schedule a week in advance so that I'm not rushing to edit everything. All of the content can be scheduled out for the following week once I'm finished editing it. So that brings me to the last step, which is to execute. You wanna take all of your content once it's edited and schedule it to post out on all of the different platforms. So once your workflow is organized and established, you're ready to move forward in creating and building your personal brand. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, share this video with someone you know, and I'll see you on the next one.